A hamstring strain or a hamstring tear is one of the most common injuries in sports, whether it's soccer, football, basketball, or any number of sports. And those injuries, those hamstring injuries, take a long time to heal, and they have a high recurrence rate. Would peptides like BPC-157, thymus and beta-4 be effective in helping you heal faster and return to sports faster? My name is Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injuries. First of all, I think most people understand what a hamstring injury is. This is the big muscle group on the back of the thigh. Typically, it's an acute injury. You are either accelerating from basically a stopped position and all of a sudden you feel a pull on the back of your leg, or it could be a decelerating injury where you try to stop really quickly, but people know it right when it happens. It's not a wear and tear type of thing. It has a very high recurrence rate as well. Once you have a hamstring injury, I've read studies where you're six times more likely to re-injure that hamstring than say injure the one on the opposite side. So it's something you definitely want to get to heal completely before you try to return to sports. And that's why it's always tricky if you're a sports fan and you have a, an athlete that has a, ham, has a hamstring strain, they give a very general timeline as to when they'll be back. Sometimes they'll say day to day or week to week. And that's why it's really hard to know when that player is back to 100%. You don't want to rush them back too soon because you definitely increase the chance of re-injury. And then you end up in this scenario where it's this chronic cycle of the hamstrings just never normal. I actually have a patient that I'm working with that's had five or six hamstring strains on the same side and has really not been able to shake it. And so we're talking about actually some of these other treatments that are worth talking about here. And when we say hamstring injury, again, it could be a strain or sort of a stretch of those muscles, partial tear of some of the muscle fibers or a complete tear of some of the muscle fibers. Uh, this is where potentially would something like peptides help or would something like PRP or exosomes or stem cells be helpful? As I always say, all of those treatments that we're about to talk about, they're considered experimental by the FDA. They're not covered by insurance. So I am not promoting them. I'm not pushing you to do them at all. I'm just trying to explain them because so many people reach out to me because of my knowledge and experience in this. Uh, so they better understand their options. They're trying to avoid surgery. They're trying to return to normal as fast as possible. And they want to know if these would help. Okay, let me start. Usually I start with peptides. Let me start in this case with more of the regenerative injections. PRP is actually, um, it got its start, at least in the United States, with hamstring injuries. If you read my book, and I say this not to promote my book, but that's got to hurt the injuries that change sports forever. I have an entire chapter uh, on PRP as it pertains to how it started. Heinz Ward, 2009 Super Bowl, Dr. James Bradley, the Pittsburgh Steelers doctor, uh, knew about uh, PRP because it had been used in, in England or not in England, but in Europe. And he had you know the opportunity to use it here with Heinz Ward. They did it right after he injured his hamstring. I'm pretty sure it was in the AFC championship game, but before the Super Bowl and underwent three PRP injections to be able to play in the Super Bowl with a grade two. It was actually it may not have been hamstring. Now that I think about it, maybe MCL. It doesn't really matter though. Um, it started back in 2009 as a way to get it to heal. I do know talking to and in, in interviewing Dr. Bradley for that chapter, he uses it a lot and has published studies on it a lot for hamstring injuries. That's probably why I thought about it. Now that I think about it, Heinz Ward was definitely an MCL injury. But having said that, check out the book. You'll learn a lot more about PRP and other regenerative treatments. Now, having said that, uh, I feel like PRP could be helpful, especially in the elite athletes trying to return to play sooner. Whether that's, and that there are published studies for, I have not seen published studies on the use of stem cells or exosomes for hamstring injuries, but in theory, they could work in the same way, whether they'd be better or worse, it's hard to know. Certainly much more uh, expensive going that route and much less data on it. So that then gets to a discussion you'd want to have with your orthopedic surgeon. As far as peptides go, again, still considered experimental, and I still feel like you should talk to your doctor, and if you're going to do peptides, get them prescribed through your doctor, not just buying peptides online. But having said that, peptides potentially could be helpful as well. There's not a lot of data regarding thymus and beta-4 for musculoskeletal injuries, but 
a lot of there's a lot of sort of anecdotal evidence for healing muscle injuries, especially something like hamstring used acutely fairly soon after the injury. BPC 157 also could be something that's fairly effective for that. I feel like talking to a lot of peptide experts, the injectable form of those would be much more likely to work than the oral form, but that's, I've talked about oral versus injectable in another video, so you can check that out. Both of those could be helpful. Something that helps muscles grow and get stronger, like a CJC-1295 with ipromorelin, with a human growth hormone releasing peptide, may be helpful overall to speed recovery. Hard to know how much it would affect the actual healing of the hamstring tear. The BPC or the thymosin beta-4, TB4, TB500 might be better at that. But yeah, do I think there could be a role, especially in athletes? Yes, but you're talking about something not covered by insurance, typically fairly expensive, especially in the PRP, exosome, stem cells. But yes, could speed recovery. Does the average person that does it playing rec league soccer need to do it? I probably not given that, yes, those almost always heal. But again, in terms of trying to prevent recurrence or something, there could be a role. Is this something that should be done by, say, high school age kids or younger? That would be a source of debate. There really aren't that many studies on peptides for, you know, essentially children and adolescents. Uh, so I'd be a little more hesitant there. But could there be a role? Potentially. So anyway, that's my thought on those types of treatments for hamstring injuries. I'd love to hear your experience with your hamstring injury, and especially if you've tried any of these treatments for hamstring injuries, leave those in the comments below. Just understand if you leave a question in the comments, I can't give you medical advice online. But what I do is I try to answer your question in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video and when I start my Ask Dr. Geyer live streams. And Love doing those. So if you have questions, come there. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.